Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. LeBron here. I'm here to talk to you about some fish hooking today. Last time I read, I told you a story about the kind old ghost. Remember that? That was a ghost and the vowels were there. They were playing in that haunted house and some of the vowels were not being nice to the other ones. And so the kind old ghost gave special powers to the I and the O. And if they have words, if they're in words that have this ending as nd, old, or st, and some also with ol, that they are going to be their namers and they're going to be the long, say their name and, the, and be the long sound. So today we're going to fish up some kind old ghost words. Also, Mrs. Fenby has been talking to you about blends and how blends are friends. They stick together. They have to stay together when you fish hook them, fish hook them. And then also they have to all, they have to say their sounds. Okay. Uh, so we're going to start first. So if you need your board, your marker and eraser or some pencils, paper, go get that. We're going to start with this word. Okay, so you might need to pause and get your tools, get your things, and then come back. So I noticed right away, I see a blend, and I see an E. So let's see if, if it follows any of our magic E powers that we've talked about. So go to the end of the word. Is this a vowel? Yes. What does it get? That. Is this a vowel? Nope. Is this a vowel? Yes. What does it get? That. Is this a vowel? Nope. Is this a vowel? Nope. All right, so we have to see. We have an E. We have to see if it has any powers. Remember, um, it's vowel, consonant, plus an E, or two E's together. Those are the powers that we've learned so far that they um, that E can do. So E, let's see, vowel, consonant, plus an E. It's going to give away its power. So I is going to be a namer. E can't say anything. So we have, we have a new dot. And take a look. You can't just fish hook this consonant because that would leave this one all by itself. You can't have one all by itself for its own syllable. So that's a blend, it's sm, sm. So we're gonna go ahead and fish hook these two consonants together. We have one fish hook, so we have one line. That's just one syllable word. So write all of your letters on the line. And we know that our symbol for magic E words is a star. So this would be a magic E word, and we'll make a star. The most important part about fish hooking is to read the word, okay? So we're going to keep our blends together. So we're going to say sm. Remember, I is going to shout its name. I, o, and E can't say anything. Let's do it again. Sm, I, o, smile, smile. Give me a big smile. All right, that is how you fish hook the word smile. We're going to try another one. And this one, do you see any E's in there? No? Nope. All right, let's take a look and see what else we notice. Ooh, I see some consonants. Hmm, let's go ahead and fish and um, dot our vowels and see what else we can figure out. Is this a vowel? Nope. Is this a vowel? Nope. Is this a vowel? Yes. What does it get? A dot. Is this a vowel? Nope. Is this a vowel? Nope. All right, so. I noticed some things. Old D, L and a D, is, it follows an I. That's a kind old ghost word. I is going to shout its name and say I. And I know that CH, they work together. They make a new sound called ch, ch, ch. That's a digraph. So you actually, so you have to fish hook these two together. Can't leave that one by itself. So the digraph stays together. And it's only one syllable, one fish hook, one line. So we know that CH says ch, and I is protected, okay? Although it's a kind old ghost word, it's still a closed syllable. And we're gonna say, this is, and this is an old, they're kind of like a blend. Um, they are protecting the I, so I is gonna say I. So let's read it. Ch, I, old, ch, child. Child, your word is child. And that's what you are when you're in kindergarten, you are a child. All right, go ahead and erase that one. Let's try another one. All right, this is a little bit of a longer word. This will be our last one. So let's go ahead and see. Um, all right, let's just start and see with our vowels. Is this a vowel? Yes. Give it a dot. Is this a vowel? Nope. Is this a vowel? Yes. Give it a dot. Is this a vowel? Nope. Is this a vowel? Nope. Is this a vowel? Nope. Is this a vowel? Yes. Give it a dot. Is this a vowel? No. Okay, 
Ooh, remember we're looking for some patterns of our for our magic ease. We're also looking for some kind old ghost words. So if we have those endings, we have to take a look that, at that too, okay? So I see a vowel consonant plus an E. So E is going to give its power away to I. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to fish hook the consonant in front. E can't say anything. It gave all of its power. So I is going to say I. Now I notice I see this I. It's protected, but it's an L and a D for old. So that's a kind old ghost word. So although it's a closed syllable, it's going to shout its name and say I. I have two fish hooks. Make two lines. Everything in the fish hook goes on the first line. Everything on the second fish hook goes on the second line. All right, we talked about this is a magic E word, so it gets a star. And this is a closed syllable, but it's a kind old ghost word. So when we say it, we have to make sure we say the I, okay? So, wild, wild, wild. That syllable, wild. And this one is I. He's not going to say anything. Life. Life. Now we're going to put it together and it's called wild life. Wild life. It's like animals that live outside. They're a wild life. All right. How, I hope you had fun fishing, fish hooking those words. I am going to give you another sentence and I want you to see if you can write it too. Okay. So one more thing. I'm going to tell you a sentence and see if you can write it and then uh, take a picture and give it to your teacher. Here's your sentence. See the child smile. Only four words. See the child smile. All right, write it and send it to your teacher.